<laughs> All right. All right. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a lot going on. Okay, so uh, this week we're going to talk a little bit about plastic production. So let's get into it. <laughs> So this is just the agenda of what we're going to do today. You know, we're going to have a little Kahoot game. It's going to be more interactive, hopefully, than usual. So hopefully that's a little bit fun for you guys. But next. OK, so a little history behind plastic pollution and just the creation of plastics. Um, they were invented by John Wesley Hyatt. Um, he invented the first synthetic polymer in 1869 because a New York firm offered $10,000 to anyone who could invent a substitute for ivory. Um, and this was actually invented to help alleviate the exploitation of natural resources. But at what cost? Because now we have a huge plastic problem. And it wasn't until 1907 that Leo Backlund invented the first fully artificial plastic. And then after World War II, that led to an increased production of plastic, and that increased 300%. And this all started and became a huge issue because Americans kind of shifted towards consumerism and capitalism. And then it became a huge problem of just using and not really thinking about what happened to products after we used them. Hi. Hi. Okay, so plastic pollution, there's two types of types of plastic. The primary is where it's small enough to where it's already broken down. But the main one, it's larger plastic and it breaks down over time. So if you think of a rock that turns into sand, it's the same concept. It starts big, but it ends out small and it never disappears. It just turns into smaller little pieces. Um, and people started discovering plastic in ocean in the 1960s which was very problematic because if um, these smaller plastic pieces get consumed by animals through bioaccumulation, which is basically pieces of metal or plastic or chemicals get into one animal and then another animal eats them and they collect all of that. So it makes it a lot more dangerous for humans if they consume those fish and for those creatures and overall their health. Um, I think what is most concerning is that you see all of this stuff being in the ocean more and more and more and it's harder to get out because you can't see it you can't catch it all the time nets they can't they can only go so small and what if you catch fish or other uh, creatures in the process of trying to collect those plastic and dangerous chemicals it's um it's a very dangerous thing and i think it we're seeing more of it in the ocean So um, as they mentioned, you know, plastic breaks down and a lot of the time this breakdown um, is not just happening, you know, over uh, a couple decades. This takes hundreds and hundreds of years. And even then, we don't know if it is breaking down. Um, I remember one of the first like ocean like beach cleanups I did in New Zealand. I found like a candy bar from the 80s. And like that was pretty eye opening to me because I was like, damn, like this, this does not go away at all. Um, so it's um it takes a lot of time and we still don't know the full impact because plastics are still pretty new but um you can see from that uh graphic there that different things take different amounts of time and while they're breaking down we get this um these secondary plastic pieces that are small and these microplastics which we find in the um sand we find um a lot of the time in the stomachs um, of everybody because um, in the stomachs of fish and things like that. Uh, so it's pretty crazy how it can go from this big thing down to a little thing and it's never really going away. All right. Um, 
So we have a little like activity here um, where I'm gonna like show some pictures and then if you guys wanna unmute yourself or kind of like type in the chat if you think it can be recycled or if it's compostable or if you just throw it away. Um, so does anyone know if a ketchup bottle is recyclable? It's okay, there's no wrong answers, <laughs> but there is. But it's okay. <laughs> Anybody? No guesses? Well, even even if you don't know, it's good to learn now because then you know how to go forward with your recycling. And it, it's always a learning process. Like we didn't start out knowing what to do. We had to research. So this is just a learning opportunity. Exactly. Yes. Oh my gosh, yay, perfect. It is recycled, but only if you rinse it out. Like you have to make sure they're clean and dry before you recycle it. So click the next one. Yeah. So good job, yay Abby. Okay, what about like grocery bags or like frozen produce, like things like peas and things like that? Do you guys know if they're recyclable, trash? Most likely not compost. <laughs> Trash. <laughs> Trash. Trash. Should I click the next one? Yes. Sometimes. All right. So um, it's this is one of those plastics that it they some places will take, some places won't. So that's why it's like a kind of you can recycle, but it really depends on if you can find like a good recycling center that will accept it. So that's why it's good to do your research on like what they can take. Next one. Apple, easy. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Long post. Yes. Yay. Okay. I know. I wish we had prizes. Like, thumbs up to you. <laughs> All right. What about this one? Could be tricky because you see on there it says number seven other, which we're going to talk about in a little bit, but it also says compostable on the cup. <laughs> Tricky, recycle tricky. only at some yeah. recyclable plants yes yes click the next one Trash? yeah so it's always good to check <laughs> it's always good to check because um this one is compostable but like when you see the little triangle with the number seven that's other which is usually not able to like be recycled it really depends on the center so that's why it's good to double check like what you're doing i guess this one you can because it's compostable compostable but yes and we have a question from emmy all right so my question is if that thing is compostable but you don't compost in your area do you just throw it in the trash that's a good question <laughs> um, to be honest, I'm not 100% sure on um, what to do if like you don't have like a compostable like area like near you that aren't taking like compostable trash. Um, what I usually do is just like kind of research in the area on like what places are taking like what like in a few slides there's going to be like a little list of places that take certain things. So if you just like look up in your area, um, it will, yeah. You can you find can different information. It will get yeah, down. yeah, it will break down if you do throw it away, which is nice, better than things like styrofoam, which is boo. Boo. Trash. <laughs> Trash. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Yay. Okay, cool. Yeah. That was just like our little fun um, interactive thing. This is now going to go into talking about the different types of recyclables. So if you guys are like me, um, you did not know that there were this many kinds of recyclables. Um, obviously, um, the one that is most common is the, they call it PEAT. Um, it's number one in the little recycling triangle. It's like most stuff that we think of as recyclables, you know, water bottles, soda bottles, um, whatever holds your fried chicken, you know, stuff like that. Um, and those are recyclable at most recycling um, locations. Um, the second one 
is difficult to recycle. It's better to be used, um, to be reused. Um, some places will take it, but it is recyclable. You just have to double check that your locations um, will take that one. The third one, um, oh wait, shoot, I looked at the wrong one. Oh, the third one um, does contain chemicals that are hazardous, um, so not all places will take them. So again, double check that your recycling center will take these ones. Um, don't throw away these plastics because they will last a long time and they are like reusable things that you can um, save and use over and over again. Um, this includes, you know, garden hoses. Um, oh, there are places that take them and will re reuse them to make garden hoses and flooring and stuff like that. Um, so number four, these ones are difficult to recycle. So some places will take them, other places will not. Um, it includes shopping bags, um, carpets, stuff like that. Um, it's very difficult to recycle, so it should be reused for um, compost bins, trash liners, and stuff like that. Um, number five are recyclable, but they have to be rinsed and dried out. Um, it can be, these can be reused um, as well. Number sixes are not recyclable. Um, it, is, it is mostly just waste and it goes into landfills. Um, and then the seven obviously usually contains BPA. It is pretty toxic and hazardous to the environment. Some places will take it and recycle it, but most places will not. So where can you recycle in green? I don't know, maybe. Let me sure I need it on my other screen. Okay. So you can recycle at the Anderson Cells and Savage. Um, they, is, they recycle aluminum cans, aluminum foil, appliances, um, auto parts, and batteries as well. Um, so that's like a great place to look up and recycle because a lot of people don't take batteries um, and, or auto parts. Um, we can also recycle at the Weld County Household Hazard Waste. Oh no, is that just a program they have? Is that a place? Um, sorry, can you yeah, it's a program. Okay, so you guys can look it up. There is a place and they recycle cell phones. Um, that's also another thing that does not get recycled by many places. Uh, and then you can go to Northern Colorado Disposal, um, which recycles uh, corrugated cardboard and paper, plastic, and tin cans. There's also the Timberland Recycle Center that does glass bottles. Um, Laramie County, which is Loveland, Fort Collins, that area, they recycle glass bottles when they're cleaned and empty. And then a place called Clear Intentions, they also take glass only. And then Momentum Recycling takes bottle glasses, broken glasses, window panes, tempered glass. Um, they're located in Broomfield, and they're a company that our school has tried to partner with multiple times. Um, they're very innovative. And that's the reason why they can recycle so many different types of glasses, because they have figured out a way to do it. Because um, a lot of people won't take broken glass. Um, with that being said, we were trying to partner with them through Student Leaf. Um, unfortunately, the partnership didn't work out, but we are always open to projects. And I think you guys should suggest some projects to us to help us recycle better, help us um, advocate for composting, there's always some externalities that go along with why we haven't been doing it. But if you guys would like to learn more about those externalities, message me, um, get in contact with me. And then if you guys have any projects, let me know, get in contact as well. Um, one thing I did want to mention, let me get my pictures real quick. Sorry, wasn't prepared. All right, so on campus, um, you guys know we have the recycling um, all over campus and a really common question is, do we actually recycle? And the answer is yes. 
We recycle with Gallego Station. It's out of Fort Collins. That's where our recycling gets taken. Um, and then we also have a special thing on campus called Comingo. But what the hell is Comingo? Um, Comingo is meant to handle glass, plastic, aluminum, but it has to be clean and you can't smash the cans or the bottles. Um, lately, I believe they've been separating the, ga the glass from that section. But other than that, we still recycle um, everything else. We recycle the cardboards, um, but the cardboards go in a second section. So the cardboards are recyclable, aluminum cans, things like that will go and commingle. Um, and there's also a lovely presentation online that I will group, put in the group chat. And it will give you guys um, access to, the present, to this presentation that shows you where to recycle on campus, how to recycle, um, and it'll also give you access to the student leaf proposal application if you guys think of any projects. Um, and then I also thought it'd be worth mentioning that there is recycling behind Hanson Willis and by Willison and Web King on Central Campus. So that's a really easy location. If you guys don't live on campus, you can take your recyclables there. So. Kahoot! All right, we have a little Kahoot game set up. So yeah, quick play. And then if you guys, I don't know if you guys have played it before. Um, um, host. Um, and then if you guys just pull up Kahoot, like .com or whatever, there's a little, um, there'll be a little code and then you just enter that in and then we can all play Kahoot. Yes. I'm so excited. I love yes, it. I know. Kahoot's one of my favorite games, so I'm excited. <laughs> one of my professors freshman year used it. Really? Yeah, and I was like, what is this? My teacher used Bye, it. Bye, Israel. Uh, Have a good night. <laughs> Bye. All right. I got a All right, I think that, is that everybody? Okay. We're just gonna wait a little bit longer. <laughs> One second. <laughs> <laughs> so this is just a quick little kahoot game just to kind of just for funsies a little like de-stress or but start that game Woo. Hold on. okay are you guys ready <laughs> how many tons of plastic was produced globally in 2010 dun 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 were you paying attention? <laughs> just, <laughs> just kidding. It's okay. <laughs> nice job. I'm proud of everybody. You know, good job. That was good. You know, 350 is probably, this was in 2010, so we probably, yeah, it's probably where we're at right now. Yep, moving on. Oh! Good job, Tony. I wonder why. <laughs> Not because I created it or anything. All right. Yeah. I'll keep my volume. No. Okay. Only 9% of plastic has been recycled. <laughs> That's, I meant like, in the, I forgot to say, like in the world, I think. <laughs> My bad, guys. 
That was a trick question because I didn't even complete this sentence. So that's my bad. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's two right answers, but you don't have to select two. Is this recyclable? Milk. Ooh. <laughs> I guess I don't know why I did that. Oops. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't say that. So I don't know what's going on, but you guys all get it correct. It's supposed to be yes, like you should rinse it out and like dry it before you recycle it because okay. it's so one of those. One? So it should be yeah, like yes or yes must be washed and dried oh, first or oh, both oh, correct. Oh, okay. So I don't know why it was being weird anyway. Alright. Next up. Ooh. Yeah. All right. Plastic containing PPA is very harmful if not disposed of properly. Yes, no, true, false. Hey, be careful. Are you the one making us lose? <laughs> you could have skipped, didn't you? <laughs> We're all like, why did we get it wrong? She skipped on us. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Hey, don't be mean. <laughs> it's a very learning question. Wow, Penny has the highest answer streak. Yeah. Is what is primary plastic? <laughs> What is primary plastic, guys? Oh my god, I think I said No. Is that right though? Oh, is that right? Then I got it wrong. I think it might be. Oh, no. Oh, is that Yes. It was green. Good job, guys. Good job for those two. Who was those two people? Oh, Camille, you're moving up. Nice. All right. How many years is it estimated to take for straws to break down? Boom. We honestly don't really know, but what do they estimate? Yes, 400 years. Probably they will never like break down, honestly. I know it was 200, but somebody said 400. I'm saying they probably won't ever truly break down all the way. Microplastics are in the ocean forever. This, <laughs> did you know this stuff prior this presentation? Just curious. <laughs> <laughs> like i already knew most of this true or false i didn't know any of this stuff prior there's no right or wrong answer on this don't worry oh <laughs> my bad i i thought i selected multiple ones so Sorry, you guys all did great though. I will award Yay. you point. Wow. Yeah, Penny. Yay. Number one. Yeah. It's all people that aren't in this room and that cracks me up. I know. <laughs> wow, great job, everybody. I'm really Yay. proud of you guys. Thank you yeah. for participating. I hope you guys liked doing this like Kahoot. I enjoy Kahoots. I don't know why they just give me joy inside. So maybe we'll do more of them, you know? Did you guys learn anything or have any questions on there that you're like, oh my God, that was such a good question. You guys can elaborate if you want. When we like look to see if our recycling company recycles products, is it just like on their website? Sorry, can you say that again? Oh. Um, when we like recycle things um, and we check to see if our recycling company does it, is it just on their website? 
We're having difficulties. One second. All right, I'm sorry. Can you say that question again? Um, if we want to know like what the recycling company recycles, do we just check their website? Like, should it be on their website? Yes. Yeah, so, okay. Um, if you, I put some links in the um little conversation thing. I don't know what that's called. The comment area chat there we go thank you um so if you just like click on those links and then you click like what can i recycle like some of the links like have like what can i recycle and they'll tell you like what you can or can't and like what you should do prior recycling so some things they'll tell you um you need to wash out or like you can't bring some types of glasses like some of these places only take certain type of glass bottles so you just have to like make sure you like check the website before bringing it um and they should tell you pretty much what you can and can't bring I hope that answered what you're asking. I think it did. I kind of went off, so sorry. Yeah, it did. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, do you guys have any more questions before we wrap up? You can type them into the chat. I'm going to talk, but you can type any questions that you have in the chat and we'll get to them. Um, so thank you for joining us. Um, I'm guessing you guys have already followed us on Instagram, but we're at earth underscore UNCO. So if you don't follow us yet, go and follow us. We're also on TikTok at UNCO Earth Guardians. And we have a YouTube channel with our recorded Zoom meetings here um, uploaded. So you can go and watch them and get all of that information whenever you would like. And you can just search UNCO Earth Guardians and we should pop up. So yeah, any, then, any last remarks? I have one. So we will not have a meeting next week. We're giving everybody a break for Thanksgiving. Um, the following week, we'll have our last meeting for the semester. And then the week of finals, we will not have a meeting. Um, and then over the break, we just encourage you guys to stay up with the group me because we'll be posting things in there um you know and asking for you guys to send them some stuff um just so we can all stay connected and interactive throughout the break it'll be really easy fun stuff um and then we'll continue with our monday topics next semester in january Yay. and you guys have any comments about our topics and you're like hey you can make it better this way or you could just stop doing that altogether <laughs> send us a message on instagram send it in the group me let us know also, we're going to be doing um, like bring your own clothing that you don't have uh, or that you don't use anymore or like um, anything you want to like donate and you can bring it to us because after the break, we're going to start like a, uh, a donation type thing where you pick clothes for if you need them to kind of help with um, not consuming as much and for people that need clothes during the winter. Giving um, new life to old things. So if you oh yeah yes it'll be a clothing swap um or people just can come get what they need um but we encourage you guys if you're like i absolutely don't want this outfit um i absolutely don't want this piece of technology like i'm about to get a new laptop um i will be putting in the group chat where you guys can send technology um because we already have a recycling center on campus for that and then um please there'll be boxes in the uc the dining halls and then possibly arlington for you guys to drop off your clothes and stuff like that thank you guys so much for joining thank you guys bye thank you thanks everyone bye have a good thanksgiving <laughs> Bye, Abs and Cindy. Bye. <laughs>
It doesn't end till you end it. I don't want to end it. So it's notes. so it's if you go. Yep, and then end.